I'm Lauren Shannon, I'm part of the Rampant Academy, and I am a GB event writer. Um, well, this summer's been kind of a washout, <laughs> there's not been a lot going on. I've been up to Scotland for a couple of events for like Valcaris and Bergie, um, and uh, where else have I been? I've been to Barbary in, um, in Hampshire, and then I've kind of been dotted around the place, but badminton was cancelled, that was a big, you know, a big blow for us. And then I got to head down to the Olympics to Greenwich Park. Uh, the horse that I was going to bring to Burley, he had an injury in like late July and the event when the when the ground was still really deep. Um, he obviously had to work harder in that deep ground and it, it did did him a bit of damage. So he's having a little bit of time off. It was kind of tough to begin with, but it's to be honest, it's better to be here and be like around the other competitors who you're friends with and you know get to hang out with family who I don't normally get to see because I'm competing. So actually, it's not that bad. Doing a lot with the celebrity talk area, just kind of doing interviews and then interviewing other people and just kind of having a good time with that. And everyone who does that is really fun, so that's really exciting. I think before I was thinking William Sinead and Andrew, but I think it's I think it's William Mark and Sinead. I think just the fact that I'm uh, it's so local to me, I live half an hour from here, so it's it's kind of always been my local event and it's really friendly. Everyone's just here to have a good time. Uh, yeah, strong hopes for Rio that this horse is going to blend him next week. I would hope that she'll have a shot at Rio and then the six year old as well actually, so she's still quite young, but she'll be ten at the Olympics, so she'd be she'd be a little bit young for it, but it'd kind of be ideal for her. So I've hopefully got kind of two chances. found out about the brand really early on from um, students I teach. I do a lot of teaching and my students are always in rampant stuff. It's crazy. Um, and uh, they always wear their rampant socks sticking out the top of their riding boots. And so I started out by asking what they were doing and um, then got to know the brand a little bit more and, uh, and got really interested in it and, um, and it kind of just spiraled from there. A lot of people are just wearing tweed the whole time and it's really kind of boring and there's a lot of older people still in the sport, which is great, you can have a long career in it. But you know, us young ones want to get in there as well and it's it's really nice having some colour. Uh, I really like the look of the quilted jacket, I've had my eye on that for quite a while and um, autumn and winter can't really go without a gilet either.